Fayetteville is located up among the hills in a most inaccessible spot in what is said by the inhabitants to be the Star County of the state. It has two churches, the county courthouse, a number of fine stores and dwellings. It is a flourishing little town. Waterman Ormsby, New York Herald, September 22nd, 1858. I might say our road was steep, rugged, jagged, rough, and mountainous, and then wish for some more expressive words in the language. Do you not? The wiry, light little animals tugged and pulled as if they would tear themselves to pieces, and the heavy wagon bounded along the crags as if it would be shaken in pieces every minute, and ourselves disemboweled on the spot. Waterman Ormsby was a 23-year-old newspaper correspondent for the New York Herald, assigned to report on the Butterfield Overland Mail Stagecoach on its maiden run from St. Louis to San Francisco. Ormsby's first-hand reports described the journey through the rugged Boston mountains as the stage pulled into the, quote, flourishing little town of Fayetteville in late summer of 1858. The approach to Fayetteville is through a pleasant and fertile valley. And I understand these valleys comprise some of the best agricultural districts of Arkansas. The mountains abound in splendid white oak timber. As the road winds along the ridges, you are afforded most magnificent views of the surrounding hills and valleys. Well, Fayetteville in 1858 was a, was a small town, fewer than a thousand people. 